hey guys welcome back to maths understood in today's video we're looking at a financial literacy problem and we'll be using linear equations in order to solve the problem presented to us so it says here there is five thousand dollars in stacy's bank account she wishes to increase her account to a total of eight thousand dollars by depositing forty dollars per week from her paycheck now what we need to do here is to write and solve an equation to find out how many weeks she needs to reach her goal so we are given a good bit of information here guys in order to figure out the number of weeks that she needs in order to reach her goal we know that she needs a total we know that she wishes to increase her account to a total of $8,000, right? So we may begin the equation accounting for that $8,000. So that's $8,000, which is the total that she wants to, to increase to, should be equal to the $5,000, which she already has, plus that $40 that she intends to deposit each week times however many weeks she will deposit it for now we also know that she wishes to deposit forty dollars per week from her paycheck do we know how many weeks no we don't so we may use a variable to represent however many weeks that will be so we'll be adding here 40 times x Bearing in mind that X represents the number of weeks. Right, so now that we have our equation set up, we may go ahead and solve for X. So the first thing we're doing here in solving for X is to subtract 5,000 from both sides of the equation. Once we've done that, we're left with 3,000 being equal to 40x. Next, we want to just go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by 40 in order to find our value for x. Once we've done that, we're left with x being equal to 75. So what, the 75, so what the 75 tells us, guys, is that Stacy needs 75 weeks in order to reach her goal. Now let's take a look at another problem guys involving money. Tim is earning extra money by painting fences. He charges a $210 fee plus $24 per can of paint needed to complete the job. Write and use an equation to find how many cans he needs for a $330 job. Now, here in this problem, we've been given quite a bit of information once more in order to easily write our equation and find how many cans Tim will need. Now, we know that the total cost of the job is $330. And that $330 includes the $210 fee plus... We have to account for the $24 per can of paint needed to complete the job. One thing that's not given here, which we definitely, which we obviously need to find, is how many cans he needs for the job. So we'll use the verbal X to represent the number of cans he will need. So in the equation, we will add 24X. Now that we have our equation set up, we will just go ahead and solve for X. In solving for x, guys, the first thing we're removing is this 210. So we'll remove it by subtracting it 
from both sides of the equation. Once we've done that, we're left with 24x being equal to 120. Next, continuing to solve for x, we will divide both sides of the equation by 24. By doing so, we're left with x being equal to 5. Now, what this 5 tells us is that Tim needs five cans of paint for a $330 job. That's it for today, guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you do, leave a like down below so I can know that you do. Until my next video, I will talk to you then. Goodbye.